Hey, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of you in these internet streets. I wanted to get up here before I get ready for bed and talk about how I was watching it. Um, I was watching somebody's stories. I was going through stor their stories and they were, it was a stitch from another creator on TikTok. And the first thing this man said was, Black women, we don't need you strong. We need you here. And the, it was actually a therapist that stitched it. And she went on to say how high the statistics are now for Black women and unaliving themselves. And I was like, not in shock, but kind of in shock because my phone is doing, my tripod is acting up. But kind of in shock because it was almost as if black women they're they're leading in everything in in education and entrepreneurship black women you know basically they say we do it all do it all but when it comes to taking care of themselves and taking care of them themselves wholeheartedly, it's it's not happening. So I was kind of, I was kind of heartbroken over the statistics because I was like, now they're leading in, unaliving themselves, lead in heart disease and diabetes. And it's like, it's, it's being talked about, but it's not being talked about enough. I, I know definitely when, when she said this, the numbers for them unaliving themselves, I was just like, I was taken aback. I'm not even going to pretend like it wasn't, it wasn't something that I knew. I knew, I know the numbers for when, for heart disease and diabetes and all that stuff. I know, I knew all that, but to hear her say that and, and she went down the line and I mean, it was, it was a, it was a lengthy message that she was talking, that she stitched it with the guy and, and her. And I was just like, the, the burden of being strong in a melanated community as a melanated woman is just kind of like, this is what you need to do. Put your cape on and go about your day. You don't take care of yourself. You take care of your family. You take care. Sometimes some of y'all are taking care of other people's family. Like literally taking care of other people's family. And it's like, when are you going to start taking care of yourself? And nobody wants to talk about it, but it needs to be talked about. And that was another reason why I wanted to do the self-care challenge because there are a lot of people that are not talk, taking care of themselves. And I'm not just speaking on black women, but I am speaking on black women, but women in general, taking care of family, taking, I mean, down to taking care of the dog. Nobody's, nobody's taking care, nobody's taking care of her. And I'm kind of like, well, if you're going to constantly neglect yourself, all the time. You don't take care of yourself. You're not eating right. You're not exercising. You're not doing any of those things for your body to be right. Sooner or later, that's affecting your mental. It's affecting your mental wellness. That is definitely affecting your mental wellness. So if you're not doing all the other stuff, then mentally, yeah, it. you're going to feel like I can't do it all. When in reality, you don't have to. Sometimes you have to ask for help. Asking for help may not be from the person that you actually want help from, because some of you probably want help from people that you've helped throughout the years or still helping. You want help from those people, but in reality, they can't help themselves. So how are they going to help you? If they can't help themselves, how are they going to help you? 
they're looking for you. They're looking for you for the handout. They're looking for you to come pick them up. They're looking for you to, they dump their emotional baggage on you. And now you're wondering like, well, why do I feel like this? Why do I, why am I sad now? Because they dumped on you and then left. And you think because that's an old friend or that's my family or this is, uh, we've been working together for all these years. You let them emotionally dump on you. They dump it on you and then they leave. And then you're left with the aftermath of their emotional dumping on top of your emotional things that's going on with you. So now you're just filling it all. And then you got kids. You add kids in the mix. You add your fam family in the mix, you know, the family that you really deal with. And now you're dealing with all their emotional stuff. If you got a spouse, you're dealing with their emotional stuff. Because most of the people that come to you for help, they're not dealing with their emotional stuff. They're just dumping it. And you pick it up. That's like somebody throwing out the trash and you going to get it. It doesn't, it does not make sense. It does not make sense at all. And then when you say things like, okay, you can you can go and talk to a therapist. You can go and talk to a counselor and talk to somebody so you don't feel like you're bearing it all. You're you're the burden, everything is on you. And I know within most of the melanated community, going to a therapist is not a thing. It's, it's a thing now, but for most people, it was not a thing. It was more of a, oh, you're going to therapy. You're going to therapy. What's wrong with you? You're crazy. It was never a, okay, I go to a doctor. I go to the cardiologist. I go to the dermatologist. I go to this doctor. I go to that doctor. There was It was never a thing to say, okay, I'm going to go to a therapist. We're just going to pray about it and constantly pray about it and pray about it and pray about it. And nothing's changing because there's no work put behind it. So yeah, you can pray about it. But if there's no work put behind it, then you're just basically running in circles. And then when it gets to the point of some some people you work you work so many hours that you got sick days and personal days. You got so many so many days like to the point where you can give them away. And I've seen people give away their sick days and their time to other people that are, that are sick and they ran out of time. You got so much time and you're like, uh, oh, I, I got all this time. I, I could just give it away. Never use the time. It makes no sense. Never use the time. Never use the sick time. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. I'll be okay. Don't go to the doctor. But they're taking money out of your check every week, every two weeks. You will not go to the doctor. You will not go see a therapist. You will not go to counseling. And then when everything is like really falling apart, then it's like, okay, I'll go. Or they're taking drastic measures and now you're on some kind of pharmaceutical to calm your anxiety, to have you kind of out of it and not yourself. And now you're kind of floating around because now you're on these pills and you're on this stuff and it's just like you ain't looking at the side effects or anything of the stuff that you're taking. And then when you go, oh, now I have a heart defect or I have an issue with my heart. My heart is de deteriorating or my heart is this and my blood pressure, is it's so high and now you're trying to scramble around and, and get it together. But now you're on two blood pressure pills and you're on something for that. Now you're pre-diabetic. You're on something for that. And, and it's just too much when you could have just taken care of yourself from the jump. And like I said, that's another reason why I wanted to do the, the self-care challenge because a lot of women are not taking care of themselves. They're putting everybody else first. They're making everybody else a priority and never making themselves a priority. Never even, like I said, with the with having so many days, why aren't you using your days? That's what they're there for. Because you don't want to use your days because you feel like if I use my days and I don't go to work, 
when I get back, I'm going to come back to a mess. Because even at work, they dump all the workload on you. So now you feel like you're underpaid and overworked. Because for one, you don't say no. You don't set a boundary and say, you know, this is this is too much because you can handle it. But in reality, it's like you're at work later than everybody else. Everybody else, the people that get paid more than you, they're leaving. You're at work still doing their job and your job and somebody else's job too. And they're looking at you like, well, she got it. She can handle it because they don't care. They're going home to their family while you're sitting there doing their work. And they're okay with that because you're strong. You can handle it. And then we talk about how how so many people are just, they're sad, they're depressed, and uh, I got so much anxiety. And it's like, take a break. Take a break. Take a day off. Take Go away for the weekend. It doesn't even have to be a long, drawn out, I'm going away for 14 days or seven days or something like that. Do it for the weekend. Take a break. Tell everybody, you know, put your phone on, do not disturb. Be by yourself and tell these people, you know, I can't, I can no, I can no longer, I can't help you anymore. I can't give you any money. I can't babysit. I can't like the, the plethora of things that people do for other people. And I just be looking like, well, when do you sleep? When do you, when do you, when do you sleep? Just something as simple as getting enough sleep. You don't, Oh, I don't, I don't sleep. I only sleep a couple of hours. But you're running around, you're ragged. You're looking ragged. You're, you're tired. And then, oh, well, this is, this is what I got. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's time to stop trying to take care of everybody else. Because at this point, your health is in jeopardy. <clears throat> your your physical health is in jeopardy. Your mental health is in jeopardy. At this point, it's time for you to cut them loose and, and mean it. And don't go backwards and say to them, look, I'm, I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm tired. I'm sick. I need to take care of myself because you're going to, you're going to know who's going to really like pull up on you and be like, all right, I'm going to I'm going to come and help you get through this. And I mean they come and they they're helping you without coming to you and being like, "Oh, guess what happened to me though? Guess what happened to me?" It's time to start taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. And that was another reason why I started a journey into yourself. The, the it's it's a it's about 10 pages maybe 11 the most i can't remember right now but a journey into yourself is is helping you learn about you it's not about anybody else but you and it's only a dollar and 11 cents so it's not like you got to pay a whole bunch of money and and some of y'all spend money on Fast food and processed food, that's another thing y'all need to let go of because that's harming you physically and mentally, all the chemicals that's in that stuff. And like as I said, a journey into self, It's a, the link is in my bio. It's a dollar and 11 cents. 2024, everybody is saying 2024 is going to be different. 2024 is a year of truth. Truthfully, a lot of women are speeding up their, because you can't say certain words on here, but you're speeding up the process for you leaving this earth. You're speeding it up. You're you're moving sooner than what you should be. Let's say it's meant for you to be out of here at, at 93, but at 63, you're out of here. You're speeding up that process. Because you're not taking care of yourself. You're not putting yourself first. And then you're mad because nobody's, nobody's, nobody even asks you how you're doing. Hey, how you doing? They just come and they dump. 
nobody's even saying, hey, you need anything today? But you're constantly doing that to people and you're expecting you out of them and it's just not working. Because they don't want to help themselves. They want you to do it and you keep doing it. So put yourself first. For 2024, for the next, at least the next six months, put yourself first. Take care of your health, your physical health. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your spiritual health. Just start with those three things. For the next six months, is January, what, 15th till July 15th. And see how you feel. And see who fell by the wayside. And see who said, oh, you're acting funny because you want to take care of yourself, because you want to live longer, because you want to eat better. See who is going to say, oh, you're acting funny now because you don't want to help me. You don't want to let me borrow any money. You don't want to let me borrow the car. You won't let me emotionally dump on you. See how you feel after that. Because it's either they're going to come up to you, come up to your standard, or they're going to fall by the wayside. And you know, you know, some of them need to fall by the wayside anyway. But make that step into taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Yes, you got kids, you got you got a significant other, you got uh, parents that you help and family members. But don't help anybody until you help yourself first. And be a little selfish. And I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't be selfish. You shouldn't be selfish. If you got high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, um, your ankles are swelling every night. You got to put your ankles up every night. You're, you're just having all these issues with your body and you're eating like crap. It's time to really take your health into your own hands. Not just your physical health, but your mental health and your spiritual health. Because nobody's going to do it for you. I keep hearing people say, nobody's coming to save you. So if you want to get right, you can DM me, hit me up. But there are digital downloads in my bio. There's one on the journey for your journey, a journey into self. There's one on heart disease. They're all digital downloads. All you got to do is download them and follow them. There's one on mindful meditation. There is help if you want the help, but you got to want it for yourself because ain't nobody going to do it for you. And that's that's the problem. You're expecting you out of them and it don't work like that. You take care of you. You focus on you. You work on you mentally, especially mentally because Nobody really cares if you fall apart. They're just going to wait for you to pull it back together and, and come back and dump on you. So y'all get it together. I'll talk to you guys later.